So it's really quite difficult to recreate the fringe that we've done for you. So I'm going to give you a few tips on how to create that. Awesome. All right. So the first thing you need to have is a hairdryer with a nozzle. Okay. You need the nozzle on the top of your hairdryer. Okay. You need a good size brush, not too big. If you if you go for this size, it's going to actually make the hair sit a lot flatter. Okay. And before you start blow drying your fringe, especially if you're in a hurry and you've got casting after casting, it's always best to take some dry shampoo with you. So we spray this through the top, get rid of any of the natural oils that's built up throughout the day or through the castings that you've been doing. You separate the fringe. Now, with your nozzle, you make sure you go down the hair like this. See how we've created that volume now, okay? What we then need to do is not to make it look old fashioned and quite 80s, so you want to get the hair dryer. You just push it down like that. So, that's a quick and easy way for you to be able to create that perfect fringe again for you. Alright? Now, you can also have another option if you wanted to wear your hair back completely, like in a low pony. Yep. Okay, and you don't want a fringe. I'm just going to show you how you can pull this back so it still looks like you've got something designed into the hair. So you pull the fringe up, give it a bit of back combing from the root area. You let the hair spray dry first. You can use the hair dryer. Just to dry it off. Then just brush it out a little bit. Alright? Just so it doesn't look completely teased up. And you just twist the ends underneath, flatten it down so it's not too flat. A couple of bobby pins, and you're good to go. It's so simple, it's like literally three minutes.